What's up guys, welcome to another Scratch tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you how to create this bouncing effect. Alright, let's get started. Make a variable, we're going to call it vyvel, okay, for the sprite only, click on the K. Okay. Next we're going to say, when clicked, we want to go to x0, y0, and we are going to set yvel to 0. Next we're going to say, forever, change our yvel by 1, sorry, negative 1, and we are going to change our y by y vel. <laughs> so you see now we already have gravity. Next, we want the cat to bounce when it reaches a certain y position, right? Or a, any, any condition. So we're going to make a block. We're going to say bounce if. Um, click on add an input boolean. We're going to call this condition. Run without screen refresh and click on OK. Next, we're going to say bounce if um, our y position is less than, let's say, negative 100. All right. Next, here we're going to say if condition. So if our y position is um, less than negative 100, then it's going to do blah, blah, blah. So we are going to say it's going to repeat. ABS, all right, you can find the block right here. ABS off YVEL. So let's say if YVEL was negative 10, then it's going to repeat 10. Change Y by 1. So if YVEL was, let's say, negative 8, absolute value makes it become 8 because, you know, it turns it into a positive value. So it's going to repeat 8, change Y by 1, basically change Y by 8. Great. Next, we are going to set our y vel to zero after that all right so you see now boom we stopped there well sort of <laughs> um as you can see we already have a little bouncing effect um that's because um it's repeating this right but sometimes the cat goes down to eight but it also goes up eight now there's a distance between that um value okay i know this kind of sounds confusing but um a simple fix will be if condition then change y by one so you see now um it appears we still have to bounce so uh, never mind um well that's going to be fine because um what we're going to do next is that we are actually going to instead of setting yvel to zero we're going to set yvel to abs of yvel so now our cat will be bouncing infinitely <laughs> so it's bouncing infinitely and we don't want that Instead, we're going to um, set it to ABS of YVEL multiplied by, let's say, 0 0.8. All right. So you see now our cat slowly stops bouncing, but it's still kind of wobbling on the line, right? So an easy fix is we're going to have an if else loop here. We're going to say if um, ABS of YVEL is larger then three so it's going to stop bouncing if the cat is going downward at three um let's say per tick all right then it's going to set yvel to abs of yvel times um, 0 0.8 else we're just going to set yvel to zero so it's going to stop moving so you see now bounce 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 stop all right let me show you the yvel variable look going point point and when it becomes three it stops. That's zero. You might have missed it, <laughs> um, but it's there. Anyway, to make our block even more better, we're going to say bounciness. And we're going to say bounciness. All right. Now, this will allow, this will allow us to control um, how long the cat can bounce for. Well, more like the gravity or whatever. So, um, basically, we're going to drag this block here and we're going to stick it here. All right. So if we put 0 0.8 in there, sorry, 0 0.8, it bounces regularly, right? But sometimes we can adjust this value. Um, if this value is larger than 1, it's going to bounce higher and higher. And if it's less than 1, it's going to bounce until it halts, all right? So the closer it is to, let's say, um, 0, the less it will bounce. But the higher it is, let's say 0 0.95, 
then it's going to bounce for a very, very, very long time, right? It's going to slowly slow to a stop if it's less than one, um, and it'll take time. Anyway, you can adjust this value. You can also adjust this here. Let's change it to negative 50. That way, our cat's going to bounce at negative 50. Um, anyway, this is um, pretty much all I wanted to talk about for this tutorial. I hope you like it. It's quite short, and I think you might find it quite useful. Um, thanks for watching. Um, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Scratch tutorials.